Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. I can't help but imagine that there are people out there who get a bit snobby about the name of where they live and its meaning. They want to be living somewhere that has a posh sounding name with an equally posh and fancy etymology. Perhaps they may even look down on people who live in parts of the world with less desirable names. Of course we cannot all live in places with fancy sounding names. Some of us are going to be left living in towns and cities with weird, bad and odd names. If this is the case for you however, please do not feel too bad about it, even if someone does look down their nose at you for where you are living. This is because if we zoom out of our towns, cities and countries, we all actually live somewhere that has a name of a pretty strange origin. Every human that has ever lived has lived somewhere that is named after breast milk. Yep, breast milk. Where is this magical milky place you may be wondering to yourself? Well, it's all around us. No matter where you are watching this video right now, you are there. I'm of course talking about the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a galaxy, specifically the galaxy that we live in. NASA's Space Place website explains succinctly that a galaxy is a huge collection of gas, dust and billions of stars in their solar systems, all held together by gravity. This means that our solar system is just one of many in the Milky Way galaxy. There are even other galaxies like the Andromeda. Some estimate that there are 100 billion galaxies in the universe. They're the only ones we humans have ever set foot in is our home galaxy of the Milky Way. And even then we've never left our solar system. And there's much more to the Milky Way than just our solar system. The Milky Way is believed to be 100 100,000 light years from side to side and is a spiral galaxy, meaning it looks like a series of spirals. Our solar system isn't just one of its spirals. In the center of the Milky Way is a super massive black hole, and even if you could travel at the speed of light, it would take about 25,000 years to reach the center of the Milky Way from where we are. Like I said, it's a pretty huge place. Though despite how grand the Milky Way may be, I definitely did not expect the milk in the Milky Way to relate to human breast milk of all things. It's not only the Milky Way however that has a milk themed name. As mentioned the Milky Way is a galaxy and the noun of galaxy unto itself has a milk themed etymology too. Galaxy ultimately derives from the ancient Greek word for milk, gala. Initially it would have been called the galaxy's kyklos which means milky circle. Circle because it's a spiral galaxy. Then the Romans adapted it into Galaxias, eventually becoming Galaxy in English. With all this milk up in space, it's easy to understand why there's a handful of milk chocolate products that share these names too. Though for the record Mars Bar doesn't come from the planet but rather from its creator or Forrest Mars Senior. He is also the first M in m and but that's way too off topic. Anyway, how exactly did it come to be that our place in the universe is named after breast milk? And whose breast milk is it named after exactly? Well before I answer that question I just have to say something else. Breast milk and breastfeeding is a natural thing and should definitely not be frowned upon. While I and a lot of other good people believe that, there's a chance that YouTube may not. Society has deemed female breasts to be a taboo, so there's a chance this video will be demonetized. Please do consider supporting on Patreon if you can and want to, it really helps support the channel when YouTube does not. Anyway, back to the story at hand. It's only fitting that something as magnificent as the Milky Way be named after the breast milk of someone equally magnificent. That magnificent someone being the Greek goddess of Hera. Yep, this is a Greek myth, though honestly that shouldn't come as too big of a surprise. Greek slash Roman mythology plays a huge role in the naming of the night sky, and if you're going to find a story about stars being named after breast milk anywhere in the world, it's most likely in the Greek myths. As wonderful as Greek mythology is, it's worth remembering that it's not actual history, meaning there's not one definitive way in which these events took place. This is going to be my retelling of this tale, which is heavily inspired by Stephen Fry's retelling of it in his great book Heroes. Go read it. This means that you will find many versions of this story out there with events in different order, and some things happening in a completely different way. While that might make things a tad confusing, it's also what makes these stories so fun. They can be interpreted and retold in so many ways. 
ways. What there is not as much variety in, however, is with the goddess of Hera herself. She was one of the 12 Olympians and is seen as the goddess of women, marriage, and family. She was also the sister slash wife of Zeus. Yeah, don't ask. Earning her the title of queen of the gods. While they were married, Zeus and Hera had a bit of a rocky relationship. Something Hera is very well known for is her rage and vengeful nature, especially when it came to dealing with the many lovers and illegitimate offspring of her husband, Zeus. This wrath at one of Zeus's many love affairs directly ties into how the Milky Way got its name. Zeus produced a child with not only another woman, but a mortal. This was a mortal woman by the name of Alchemini. For one reason or another, she caught the eye of Zeus, as so many did, so he left Mount Olympus to pursue her. He did this by changing shape, not into an animal like we've seen in the past. Instead, he took the form of her husband. This did the trick as Zeus in disguise and Alchemini spent the night together. On top of this, however, once Zeus had departed, Alchemini's actual husband came home and proceeded to sleep with her too. This led to something known as heteroparental superfecundation, meaning a woman is pregnant with two children who have two different fathers. Of course, when Hera found out what her husband had done, she was furious at him, as well as Alchemini. Not only did she want this illegitimate child of Zeus dead, but she wanted it to never even be born. Hera forced the goddess of childbirth, Elethea, to stop Alchemini from giving birth. However, a trick played by Alchemini's servant stopped Elethea in her tracks, and Alchemini became a mother of two. These two children were named Alcides and Iphicles. Hera's hope of these two children never being born went down the drain, so she needed a new plan. The issue, however, was that it was unknown which one of these children belonged to Zeus and which one was mortal. The death of a mortal baby doe would not get in the way of Hera's spite. If she did not know which one was Zeus's, she would just have to kill them both. Hera sent two snakes to strangle the babies. This, however, did not go to plan either, as the baby of Alcides strangled the two snakes himself before they could strangle him. The strength and bravery of this baby made it abundantly clear that he, Alcides, was the son of Zeus. This demigod child was hugely powerful, but his mother still feared what Hera and her wrath would do to the poor boy. To protect the child, Alchemini abandoned poor Alcides in a field, surrendering the boy to the gods. This is actually a somewhat reoccurring thing to happen in Greek mythology. Children would be left to fend for themselves, and if they survived, it was seen as being a message from the god of their importance on the planet. One god in particular did come for young Alcides, though thankfully it was not Hera, but Alcides' half-sister of Athena. Tina. She took pity upon the poor boy and brought him to Mount Olympus. Here, Zeus was ecstatic to meet his son. Hera, however, was not too pleased to be seeing this boy she had tried to kill in her domain. Athena and Zeus did try to appease Hera, however, hoping that a new name for the baby would please her. Athena and Zeus changed Alcides' name to one that was an ode to the Queen of the Gods, in hopes it would please her. They changed Alcides' name to one that meant the glory of Hera, which in Greek was of course Heracles, which became Hercules to the Romans. If you hadn't guessed by now, the origin of the name of the Milky Way is also the origin story of Hercules, though I will be sticking with that Greek name of Heracles for this video. It's not exactly like the great Disney film, but there are some similarities between the two. Zeus took the freshly named Heracles under his wing, much to his wife's dismay. Zeus had big plans for this son of his and wanted Heracles to be as big and strong as his other children, despite being half mortal. Zeus felt he knew exactly what Heracles needed to reach his full potential, and that was none other than the breast milk of a goddess. All his other children had fed on her breast milk, and Zeus believed that if Heracles drank it too, he would become as mighty as the rest of them. The only issue in all this, however, was Hera's disdain for the boy. She definitely would not breastfeed the child out of choice, so Zeus hatched a plan. While Hera slept, Zeus would sneak in with Heracles and have him feed from her while she was still asleep. To start with, this plan worked relatively well, though as the young Heracles drank away, he got stronger and stronger. It's worth remembering that he was pretty strong to begin with too, though this strength would throw a wrench in Zeus's plan, as the baby bit down on Hera's breast too hard, forcing her to wake up. Unsurprisingly, Hera was furious to find her infant arch nemesis suckling at her breast. She immediately started to force him off her chest, but the young lad was just too strong. She yanked and yanked and eventually with all her might, Heracles let go of her breast. The young boy went flying through the sky, but he was not the only thing to come shooting off of Hera's chest. 
in this moment of mania, Hera's breast milk shot through the sky too. The milk went higher and higher into the night sky and didn't come down. Instead, it stayed up in the night sky and became stars that would fill humans with wonder and perhaps more importantly, help guide their way, both literally and figuratively. Because these stars slash waypoints started life as Hera's breast milk, that name of Milky Way was given to them, which was then applied to our galaxy as a whole. Of course, Heracles would go on to become the hero he is known as to this day, though that could be a story for another time. Our aim was to just retell how the Milky Way was named after breast milk. The Greek myths have inspired so many names and words that are all around us. In the case of the Milky Way, however, it is quite literally all around us. This is an incredibly unique tale starring a demigod child and out of control breast milk. While it might seem somewhat comical to us now, it clearly had a huge impact on our planet and, well, galaxy. Though not every language calls our galaxy the Milky Way. Chinese, in example, calls it the Silver River. In Arabic, it is called the Hay Merchant's Way. And in Estonian, it is called the Way of the Bird. These are all rather pretty names too. And I'd love to hear what it is called in your language down below. Though I can't quite imagine that these names involve quite as much breast milk as the name Milky Way does. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad-free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and it gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and also join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.